This is a Sunwa YX1000A miniature multimeter. It's palm sized. <laughs> it's tiny. I don't know where I got this from or where it came from. It is not a precision meter in any sense of the word, but it is analog, so it has that going for it. Here's a close-up of the display, or the meter face, whatever you want to call it. And there is a little adjustment there to zero out the pointer if it needs to be. There are your controls. I have this set to ohms right now. And you'll notice that if I go ahead and touch the probes together, it reads zero ohms. Hopefully the camera is picking that up. Maybe I'll turn it like that if it'll stay. If I could just get a good connection on the leads, there we are. So that'll read whatever resistors you want. And you can also set it to voltage, of course. But being that I don't really use this thing, I just put a nearly dead battery in it. So I'll go ahead and open it up and show you the insides, because this is how you get to the battery. It runs on a AA battery. And this battery is really, really old. I don't know how old it is. Expired in 2011. And it still has some juice, and it never leaked in all that time. I didn't keep it in this meter. I had it in something else, but it never leaked in all that time. Here's the inside of it. There is a trim pot over here to adjust for ohms. It's this way you can zero out the pointer when it goes to the opposite end of the scale. And this is the back of the meter, where the jeweled movement is. Meter probes connect there. And you'll notice if I go and unplug it, it just pulls right through. That's all it is. A couple of resistors, nothing, nothing to it. So let me just stick the case back on a little bit, just so nothing gets hurt. And then we'll measure DC voltage. Well, I guess that's going to have to be good enough for right now. There it is, and DC voltage, lowest scale it has is 10. This isn't going to read much because, of course, this is only a one and a half volt battery, which is probably nearly dead, but you should see the pointer deflect there. So when I meter the battery, it reads. Yay! I wish I had more information about this, like how old it was, or is, and anything about Sunwa. I haven't researched this or anything. Just something I picked up in my travels. I have no idea where and when. I think I had this with all of my old car stuff, so this thing is going back easily 20-some-odd years. There's some printing on the back, just kind of worn. Maybe you can read it. And that's it. Just a very basic analog multimeter. Analog meters are awesome because a, a digital meter is a great thing. But with analog, you can watch, if you have voltage dips and spikes and stuff like that, you can watch the needle deflect. And that'll give you a lot more information seeing that than it will with the numbers changing. Because on a digital multimeter, when the numbers change, there's only so much, uh, you know, so many samples per second that it changes to. When you measure something with a multimeter, you know, the even the 0.02 of a volt or something like that, you only get two or three samples a second. 
while you may or may not be able to see such small movements on a display like this, you can see it pretty much in almost real time. So it's always great to have an old analog meter around, and that's why this is still here. Anyway, thanks for watching. Just figured I'd show this to you because I thought it was an interesting tiny multimeter. Make sure you click like, make sure you click subscribe, and take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.